All right, this morning we are focusing on the question, is there anything wrong with being average? We're looking for answers in our continuing series with TED, Ideas That Matter, as students prepare to go back to school. In her popular TED Talk, educator Danielle Moss says that average students and employees deserve more attention and recognition. They're the kids we think we can ignore because their needs for support don't seem particularly urgent. They're the co-workers who actually keep the engines of our organizations running, but who aren't seen as the innovators who drive excellence. In many ways, we overlook the folks in the middle because they don't keep us up awake at night wondering what crazy thing they're going to come up with next. <laughs> Danielle Moss is the CEO of Oliver Scholars, which helps black and Latino students from underserved communities prepare for college. She is with us now. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So you call this the forgotten middle, the average workers and students. Explain exactly what that means. I think uh, in my career as an educator, I saw lots of focus on the highest performing students mm -hmm. um, and a, a level of high accountability for how well the lowest performing students did or didn't do. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and But most students are kind of in the middle, yeah. right? And so there aren't a lot of targeted resources or attention paid to the vast majority of our kids. And we're missing out on something. And we're that. definitely missing out on something. Yeah, in your tech talk, you said there are some unclaimed winning lottery tickets there <laughs> in the middle. Absolutely. I think there's a lot of potential. Um, sometimes kids just need to be exposed and ignited. You can't, you can't yeah. aspire to do something that you've never heard of, mm -hmm. right? Sure. And so we have to kind of figure out how can we expose kids, give them opportunities, um, and get them excited about learning again. And how big was it in terms of having someone in your life to say you are capable of achieving more? Because you said you sort of hung out in that average space as a middle school student, but your mom stepped in and said, I expect more of you, you can achieve more. How important is it to have that? I mean, I, I think it was absolutely transformational for me. So uh, for the first half of my middle school career, I was pretty average, um, 65, 75% grades, um, but my mother knew that I was capable of a lot more. And so one summer, um, much to my dismay, she had me go to summer school. And I said, but I'm not failing. And she said, but you're also not reaching your potential. Mm -hmm. um, and it was in that space that I really reconnected with my academic aspirations and got excited about learning yeah. again. Um, and had the opportunity to just connect with teachers, I think, in a way that we sometimes don't get to do during the school year. So it's important to ask for more. Some of those people in, in the middle are people who don't necessarily excel in school, but may in other things. Absolutely. And so I think college access is important, but it doesn't mean college only, yeah. right? And so we have an obligation to at least give all of our kids the respect of saying, I think something more is possible for you. And we don't always get to write the end of their stories, no. um, but definitely I think in some communities we don't, uh, we're, we're not concerned about whether or not we're setting high expectations in high income communities. Um, but in low income communities we kind of sometimes resign ourselves to the circumstances that our kids find themselves in. And you even had just a basic question shift that could help students achieve or at least reach higher goals when it comes to college. Right. Um, and so I took the question of, you know, do you want to go to college to what college would you like to attend? Mm -hmm. um, nobody in my family ever asked me if I wanted to go to college. Right. It was kind of an as assumed expectation. And so I always had that at the back of my mind mm -hmm. as something that was expected of me in my household. Yeah. And that certainly shifts the narrative for students in, in setting those high expectations. But what about the ones that are in the middle and that stay in the middle? Is there something wrong with being average? I don't think there's anything wrong with being average. I think we all have average moments in our lives. Mostly you know? average moments, actually, I think. <laughs> you know, there, there may be um, times... Not you, Anthony. That's no, not... No, no, no. No one at this table. <laughs> but I think, you know, there have been times in my career when my role as a mother or my commitment to my family yeah. took first place. Um, and so maybe your career takes a back seat. We have to get comfortable with that. We're really um, tuned into, like, sound bites and yeah. um, glitz and glamour yeah. and excellence. Mm -hmm. um, but it's hard to kind of maintain yourself at that level 24-7. In everything yeah. you do. 
So what, so what do you, add, this is an interesting point, because if a kid perceives themselves to, add, to be average and you ask up more, you, there's a challenge there that can, sometimes you can push a kid too hard, I guess is what I'm saying. So I'm not sure if I'm sold on pushing kids <laughs> too hard. Okay. Um, but I think, uh, again, I think, you know, we owe our kids the opportunity yes. and the respect of saying, I think something more is possible. Even if they don't react in the moment. You know, I've had the opportunity of staying in touch with students that I taught in the early 90s. Yes. They don't get it all always when you want them to get it. Yeah. But it's so rewarding <laughs> to have them come back 15, 20 years later and say, you know what, you were on to something, yeah. and I eventually got that degree, I eventually got a graduate degree, I just wasn't ready at that point in my life. I'm gonna use a cheesy Casey Kasem line. Keep your feet on the ground and keep, keep reaching for the stars. stars. There's nothing wrong Absolutely. with that. <laughs> Danielle Moss, thank you very much. Thank you Thanks. so much.